Hi, Neil here from Whiskey Painters Products, and I'm here today to unbox the Whiskey Painters Camera Lucida or Camera Lucida and talk to you about how to use the product, the best way to use it, and who uses the Camera Lucida. So let's look at what comes when you order one of the Camera Lucidas, what comes in the box. So firstly, you get a Van Gogh uh, figurine, which is great when you, know, you have to look around the house, you're trying to find either um, a bowl of fruit or something to draw. We include one of the famous Van Gogh, these are handmade, um, a miniature Van Gogh figurine. And these are great if you're an artist, if you're a uh, person who just enjoys having art around. These are small handmade Van Gogh figurines. So really, really nice just to have. And that's what you're gonna use to practice your drawing skills. We also have the two types. You get two types of clamp systems to use your camera lucid. So one is gonna be, if you order the deluxe kit, the deluxe kit will include the table clamp and lighting system, which is in here, and we'll go to, we'll talk about that part after. And of course, your camera Lucida, which we'll get to in a second, and all these extra pieces that be basically become your own little um, art studio. So all these things that you can use as an artist, as an illustrator, as a designer, and these are great tools if you're a student or even a professional and you're drawing, if you're taking any drawing classes, life drawing classes, these are the tools, the basic tools that you'll always use. So we have a 2B and a 5B pencil. We have a Statler white eraser. We have a kit that includes your blending stumps, kneaded eraser, chamois for blending, and also a sandpaper block that you use to sharpen a lot of your charcoal and drawing accessories. We have a Faber-Castell set of 24 colored pencils. We have traditional compressed charcoal that comes in three grades. It comes in a soft, a medium, and a hard. We have a pack of three sticks of compressed graphite that also comes in the thicknesses, the, sorry, the softnesses of soft and medium and hard. We have a box of traditional willow charcoal, which is great to use. These are large sticks of willow charcoal, uh, exceptional when you're drawing. And we also include an electric eraser. So if you want to either highlight or shade or doing details of removing some of the color, these electric erasers are very, very handy. So you have all the utensils that they would use in a life drawing course or a drawing class. Now let's get to your camera lucida. So in the box here, we have your lens system, we have your clamp system, and we have a couple little tools in here. Uh, I wanted to mention the kit also does have a carrying case, which this is held in, as well as a carrying case to keep your um, lens case very safe. So I'm gonna be careful here opening this up because this does have a lens in here and you wanna make sure, always use it over a table or have a white cloth down here when you're, uh, that's Alice sneezing behind the scenes. <laughs> hi Alice, everyone wanna say hi to Alice. Hi. So here is your lens box and this is the key to the camera lucida which is based on prisms of mirror images. So there's no batteries here, there's nothing to plug in. The original camera lucida was basically an optical system that the great masters used. Some of them, of course, built their own using uh, mirrors and prisms to reflect an image onto their paper. So they say Vermeer, who painted uh, the girl with the pearl earring, was so detailed when he uh, drew his pictures and painted his, his final art pieces that he must have had some system to actually copy these artwork, these pieces of, of uh, a master's work of art when he was drawing or painting his subjects. And they say he did this by using what's called a camera lucid. It was a box that had mirrors in it. And when someone sat in front of it, it projected the image below him, a ghost image that he was actually allowed to uh, sketch out or almost trace out the image. So this is a key part. This is your clamp system. This is the original one. We make these by hand in Italy. 
Um, we have, uh, it's a metal factory. We produce all these parts. Um, our factory has been making these for over 50 years. So we are well established at manufacturing. Um, we're a professional art company making professional artist products for over 70 years. And these we've been making close to 50 years now for museums and artisans and professional artists and teachers and professors. Um, so all the pieces, it's all handmade. So the way we're gonna use this is, this piece here, we're gonna open up according to uh, the width of your table. And I understand that some tables are much thicker than others. Some of the Ikea tables or ones that you would use uh, sometimes don't fit. So this one in particular, this that I'm using here is a very, very wide table and it actually won't clamp onto this table. So this table happens to be uh, almost two inches in thickness. And with that, this particular clamp that we include uh, fits on a standard size table. So here's a standard size table that we're gonna clamp on. A lot of drawing tables and design tables are typically the thickness that are made out of malamine. And we just place this on here. And with the easy to use uh, turn clamp, we're gonna clamp it so it's nice and sturdy. And don't overturn it, just turn it enough so it's, it's firmly in place. And all these extra uh, uh, knobs uh, we make large enough. Again, nothing has to be over tightened, just enough so each piece is in place. So as you move it, you can tighten it and just so it stays in place. So your lens box, uh, the main thing you're gonna do is you want to attach your lens box so the mirrors are facing out towards the subject that you're going to be drawing. So when you're attaching it, again, it's gonna be facing down so the flat part of the image box, the mirror box, is going to be facing you. And to do that, it's gonna be clipped onto this extension piece here. So it has this portion already on there. You wanna make sure, again, always working over table that has either a towel or some piece of fabric down so you don't lose any of the parts. You can see there's two small washers in there. And what you wanna do is you wanna keep those on there, right? And you're gonna lift this piece up here and I'm gonna attach that on there. And then I'm gonna take the screw, the bolt, and we're going to screw that on. So now that we have this set up, we're gonna now move to the other clamp system that's included in the deluxe kit. And we're gonna show you how that clamps on using the lighting and how we're gonna use that piece that's in the deluxe system. So now that we have it set up with the traditional camera lucida clamp system that we produce in Italy, we're actually gonna switch over to the deluxe kit. And the deluxe kit includes uh, the newest clamp system, which also has a lighting kit, and it has a clamp that will be versatile that sticks to any of the larger thickness table. So in the deluxe kit, we include this new clamp system that has the extra wide heavy duty clamp that will clamp to the extra thick tables like we have here. And it also has our stand and lighting system so you can add different lighting tones when uh, using your camera at Lucida. So I didn't need the brass bolt now when I'm attaching it to this system. So I just unscrew that from the main hub and I remove the pieces and make sure, of course, you're keeping them in a small package, someplace it's safe. And this piece is now just gonna be inserted in this portion of your clamp system. So it just fits in here and voila, you have it set up. So the nice thing is these are a gooseneck cord, so they're easily moved to the position that you want when you're drawing. And of course, when you're drawing, you know, even if you bump into the system, you can always go back and check where, you, where you're working. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sketch pad, you can use any type of sketch pad, and you're gonna place it below where your lens box is. So you're not gonna know right away the exact position, and we're gonna plug in in advance our lighting system here. So I'm gonna reach over here and plug this in. It's in a USB plug, which is very, very nice. And I'm gonna take my uh, little Van Gogh here, my friendly Van Gogh, and I'm gonna set him in a position that allows me when I look through the box to see his image reflected on the pad. So again, when you're looking through, like even right now, I can see Mr. Van Gogh. 
it is just a mirror image. So it's almost like when you're looking in a mirror and you're looking on the side and you can see a picture. Right now, when I look straight down, I'm looking straight down into this hole here that's on the top of the box and I can see the image. I'm gonna show you with my hand. I'm gonna see the image right here. I'm actually gonna draw a circle on the paper around where Mr. Van Gogh is. So Mr. Van Gogh is over here, but when I look through the box, I can see him right here. So now we're looking through the hole. We actually are holding our camera and you can see there is the Van Gogh image. Now it's not as clear here because it's a photo, it's a, a camera projector looking through the thing, but there is your Van Gogh image right there. And the more light we have, we've turned off the light in the back, the clearer it will be. Again, it's a ghost image, but depending on the lighting that you're gonna use, it will become clearer and clearer. So let's turn on the light that's included in the deluxe system. And here we're going to, we have our small USB connection and we can turn on and off the light and it gives you different quality of light tone. So more on the cool tone, more on the warm tone and you can change the light, you can increase the light and you see you can change the also the color tone of the light. So cool light, blue light, yellow light, warm light. It's very, very handy, uh, depending if you don't have a lot of lights in the room. And it'll help you also work with seeing the vision of Mr. Van Gogh. And I can see him, see, there he is in the circle. And again, depending on how I change the light, it can become less clear, more clear. And you really have to just play around with it to see what suits it best. Uh, we also have large lights on the ceiling here, so that also uh, changes the look of the drawing. So you can see sometimes it gets uh, more detailed, sometimes less detailed. So now you can see we've actually turned the lights off in the room, and I can see Mr. Van Gogh in the image here. Um, and then if I, oh, see, now it becomes even more crisp and clear. We have a little bit of light coming in from a window. And if we turn this on, depending on the light tone, we can see it's not as clear. We have to find the right light tone that will work best. And let's see if we change this to see. Oh, there he is in there. See, and again, it's playing around with the, um, the light usage to see what will bring out the best look of Mr. Van Gogh when we are drawing him. I'm gonna see what kind of fits into what I like. That one seems to be good. Let's see if we increase it. Okay, for me, I like that. Now again, we're looking through a mirror through the, uh, also the camera, so it's not as crisp. When you're looking through just the camera loose set itself, it will be more clear. But right now, looking at it, this will work well for me. So here we show we have a little bit of light coming through a window. I want to, so you can see how clear it is because again, it's giving a mirror image without the light on that we've included in the system. But again, it's a matter of playing with it that best brings out the details that you like when you're drawing. So again, it's a ghost image that is on here and I'm looking through my whole, my camera lucida and I actually keep one eye closed when I'm doing it, but some people like to keep the full eye. And I'm gonna start by just drawing up, I'm gonna do the outside of the figure of Mr. Van Gogh. So I'm going along the head. And there's his ear, part of his ear. Because as we know, Mr. Van Gogh cut off his ear because he was so, uh, there we go, I'm just drawing the base of it. And again, you can include whatever features you want. And then for the detail, I can see the detail in his hair here. So I'm gonna to start to include some of the detail that I can see from the statue in his hair. Now, of course, a lot of this you're gonna shade in after. And I can suddenly see more of his features along the lines. And again, you can always move your paper and you can always even move Mr. Van Gogh's figure um, when we're using it. And I'm not a master drawer in any uh, sense, but I do enjoy drawing and I do enjoy watercolors. And some of the features here, again, you don't have to, it's gonna be my personal. And the idea of this is to get your ghost image so when you're filling out um, 
you can you can go in more and put more detail um, when you are drawing. So thank you for watching our video of the Whiskey Painters Camera Lucida. Again, when you're ordering the deluxe kit, it will include the traditional clamp as well as the new lighting clamp that works on uh, larger tables. It also comes with your exclusive Vincent Van Gogh figurine, as well as all the great utensils that you would need in an art class or an art studio when starting to draw. It does not include a sketch pad. Everyone has their own taste for sketch pads. Uh, it does include illustrated instructions and ideas when setting it up um, and little um, do's and don'ts when you're setting it, like if you happen to hit it. Um, we felt this is the best way to show when you're using a camera lucida that you can use it in, you know, there may be different uh, lighting areas, whether you're doing it outside or inside. Of course, you're working with something that works on a, on a lens system. So it's a reflection of the exact product. So you're not gonna see, it's not like you're taking a photograph and you're putting a photograph right here. You're using it based on lenses. And so you really have to get used to and accustomed to seeing that, um, that mirror image uh, on your paper. So it takes a little bit of time of getting used to, but again, the great masters, they didn't you know, uh, become experts overnight. They found different ways to produce the masterpieces that you see in the most famous museums in the world. And this is one type of system that we've created that helps great masters, as well as students or professionals, practice drawing and painting techniques and mastering the details of drawing their works. So we appreciate you spending time to watch this video. Please visit us, uh, subscribe below and visit us, uh, visit the website at uh, www.whiskeypainters.com. Uh, also comment, if you enjoyed this video, we'd love for you to comment and share. Any of you who have bought the system, uh, we've sold thousands and thousands of these around the world. And we have from museums and experts and artists and students who use this to really enhance uh, and develop their drawing skills. So thank you again from Whiskey Painters, and we'll see you soon.